Hi everybody, Martin the Flickin' Feathers again today, and I'm tying a wee snatcher. Just a claret snatcher. Very effective little fly. Um, as always, we'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page. For anyone that wants to support the channel, get access to members only content, and be entered into the giveaways. I've got my hook on my vice, it's a size 12. Uh, super grub, it's a full of mill and I've started some ATOT uni in black and I've just got to take the thread back round the bend to about where the barb is in line with where the barb is I'm going to catch in a wee bit of globe right number 4 I'm going to wind it down about three turns and then back up and when I come back up to the thread catch it tie it off trim away that waist and I'll just put a wee Spot of varnish on that there, and I'll tidy up this waist piece, just wind it up the length of the body. Now, for my rib, I want uh, some silver wire, just a small silver wire, catch it in the way back down. Tie it off, and then for the body, I'm using just claret sulfur. This is quite a light claret um, that I'm using, but on the black thread because it's nice and sparse, it, it will darken down. And I'm also using a slightly darker hackle. Um, but it's up to yourself if you want it light, that's fine. So, I've dubbed this very th sparse. Noodle, and I'm coming up the body. Don't worry if there's bits where the thread shows through. That's not bad. And I've stopped two eye lengths, I would say, back from the, the eye of the hook. That's to give me my wee head space. Now, the hackle I'm using is a Claret. It's a Chinese uh, cock neck. You can use hen if you if you like. That's also fine. And I'm going to tie it in with a good side facing me. So you're looking at the underside. So what I'm going to do is strip. basically the leading edge right. a wee bit of wax and I've tied that in so that the side of the feather with the fibres left on it is pointing towards me. I'll take my hackle pliers because it's quite weak hackles. Take a turn at the top and but no I'm not letting it double up at all. As soon as I get up there I'm moving back. And I'm going to take I don't know very few look like, Hard, a hard limit of four wraps I hackled in the body um, I don't care that it's very sparse like I want it like this um, I'm just coming back up with the rib with the new 
when I get to the front I'm going to just take a full wrap, lock everything in. Tie that wire down and then break it away. Now, super sparse snatcher, right? Um, you often see snatchers in their like big top droppers just tied in a curved hook. Uh, and that's what's the point, just tie them. If you tie your top droppers on a standard hook. The whole point of the snatcher is it's light ripple, calm days, their own buzzers, right? This is a nice wee, very slow sinking buzzer pattern essentially, right? That you can fish as a wet fly. The hackle's just enough to slow the sink rate. Right, you're not pulling it through a big rolling wave hoping that this wee size 12 is going to draw fish up to it. Right, cheeks. Uh, I'm just going to take a split jungle cock. Well, that keeps actually getting kind of hard to find splits on. It's, it's, it's a very good keep. So I've taken my single feather and I've just used my needle to encourage the split. And I'm just going to fold, fold the eye over, and I want the length like that coming back about halfway doing that abdomen, or so. Can be a wee bit shorter if you want. I've got plenty of wax on my thread still from when I tied in the hackles. So there's plenty of grip and I don't really need to fold that back. Right. They'll no put it. They're tied. They're well tied in, it's quite a long tie in. And then for the head area, I've got this. It's just the same it's the same seal fur, but all I've done is added a wee bit of spectra flash dubbing. It's um so a multicoloured flash. Um, the actual colour, it's the Sibai Spectra flash, and the actual colour is fiery brown. But other colour name isn't fiery brown, but it's no fiery brown. Um, and it blends lovely with this claret seal. So, just dub that on, wind myself a wee head. What finish? And another. Nice and tight. Just come in. Put some of that dubbing out. Just, just try to create that translucent emerger type appearance. And then just varnish the, the whip finish. Just brush it over the eyelet, the, the brush touch the thread, and the varnish will go into the knot. And then I need to clear the eye. So, there you go. It's just a wee simple claret snatcher. Nothing fancy about it at all. But they catch fish. Tie them different sizes and colours. So hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Headlines guys, bye.